Well, hey, folks. Captain Dave in the Wolf Den. One more time. Thanks for stopping by. I just had another video idea. As I was sitting here sharpening the Buck 110 Classic. And I wanted to also show you a few things. Uh, so, I mean, this is just an idea off the top of my head. Alright. Of course, this thing was sharp from the factory. But, I went ahead and on my Wicked Edge, I ran the 3000 grit stone and found through doing the Sharpie marker on it, I found that this buck, which was a little shocking to me, I mean, not shocking, but I was thinking it was something different. I matched the bevel by putting the marker on it. Uh, basically, looks like both sides were perfectly, perfectly, or damn close, let's put it that way, to 22 degrees on each side. I guess that's okay. I mean, you know, I figured 20. I started out checking it at 20 degrees, and uh, it, it came up really nice here. I mean, when you can run your, your, uh, your stones down the blade and you don't even feel any resistance, you're pretty much done. So, I just wanted to, after the debacle of trying to sharpen around that thumb stud on that Buck 110 Sport and the little review I did of it. I mean, that knife is not bad. There's nothing wrong with it. It's it's half the, the weight of one of these practically, you know, and it has the upgraded steel and all. But at the same time, I'm not a real steel, you know, snob. But I wanted to show you, I mean, this is the buck, a buck 110. And you know, I never really had one. Never had a buck 110 classic. But around Christmas time, Oralock, which if you're a subscriber and a frequent viewer of this channel, you know that he is a huge supporter of the channel. Well, he literally sent me this, this buck, because I guess through talking to him, he knew I never had a classic. I never had a classic buck. And this customized, which it's like through the roof, customized leather sheath. I mean, it's almost too nice to, to take it outside, you know? So it's got my initials. And then look, it says Jetty Wolf, like my symbol, 1996, because that's when CaptainDaves.com got started. Now, it doesn't say, it just says Captain Dave. It doesn't say CaptainDaves.com. But 1996, Jetty Wolf. And there's my wolf howling at the moon little symbol. And that. And then on the back, it says Maker AZ Laser. So, obviously, you can laser. I didn't know any of this. You know, I live in my own little bubble. <laughs> but I didn't know you could laser leather. But I guess you do. You just burn it. Ain't that nice? And this buck and, and this sheath are such a perfect match. But Oralock sent me these two things and a whole box full of all kinds of other, 
you know, stocking stuffers, I guess you could say. So, what I also, I mean, what I wanted to do was, is tell you how, um, I'm not, oh, I didn't always do it. I did it with tackle. But I didn't always do it with, you know, any of the knife projects that I've got going on. Is, I'm a huge horse trainer. Huge horse trainer. Those two, well, I had two of them. The 110 Sport from the last video, review of it. I had two of them because, you know, I always have a spare. And um, they're already gone. They're gone. And I've replaced those two with one. And I'll do a video about it when I... When it, when it gets here. If it gets here. Uh, let me show you something. This is kind of interesting. See this buck right here? For you buck enthusiasts. I want to show you something. This here is the buck. This I did a video of. And I showed this. This is a buck 510. Look how pretty that is. With that scroll work and the uh, mirror pol polished blade. This is beautiful. And of course it comes with, um, I got to take this knife out of here. It's, it's, it's kind of in the way. And it comes with this classic 510 sheath, right? But that's not what I want to talk about. What I wanted to tell you about was, you know they made this in a full-size 110? Buck 110 type size? I think they called it the Buck 111. Or 511. I can't remember what they called it. But it was the size of this. Is as you can see. This is a smaller knife. With a different type blade on it. Well I bought one. I got one from a guy in Texas. Um, I don't believe it had a sheath or anything. And do you realize it never left Texas. I hope everybody knows what's going on with the United States Postal Service. We're talking the worst is going on. I've, you know, if, the, if you buy and sell a bunch of stuff, if you're dealing with the post office, even UPS, as far as the United States Postal Service is, this knife that looked exactly like this, but it was the size of this one, I liked it because it, they're real light. They're really light. And I'm trying to steer my collection towards lightness. And the guy was in Texas, and it never made it out of Texas as far as the tracking number. And I reported it as lost. I let it go like eight days. I could drive to Texas in less than eight days. Right? So um, eBay is going to get me my money back but I guess they maybe have to pay the I don't know the seller I don't know what's happening to the seller um, but that knife is lost forever now it'll never be in the hands of somebody who probably really cares about it because it's vintage vintage Buck isn't making anything like this anymore this is from the glory days, I, I, I guess you could say. So that was something that I got to get this knife out of here. So that's one of the things that is just lost forever. I'll, I'll probably never even attempt to buy another one. But I wanted to go over. This was my original idea. Here is all the postal receipts. Me and Orwalk have sort of a running joke. 
He's like the tool guy, <coughs> the mechanical guy, and I'm the horse trader. <laughs> I'm the horse trader. These are all items that I have sold on eBay. And I mean, I'm sure there's some of these things that you guys could have gotten in on. Because, see, I was giving people first dibs. And I put it on YouTube on my community page. When I was going to sell something that, if you're a sportsman or whatever, you know, this isn't just, this isn't fishing tackle. Some of it's fishing tackle. Some of it's old, believe it or not, old, um... I got a whole bunch in here that were AFCO shorts that my dad uh, had, which, you know, he didn't, he didn't tear them. He didn't, he didn't wear them enough for them to get wore out that I sold. But these are knives. I mean, going back, let's see, a Buck Light, Buck Legacy, Martini, a Bubba, blade, a Bubba Blade that I sent to Shore Vapor. And it's always going to be Shore Vapor to me. Let's see. Bait casting reels. A Buck Squire. A CRT. CRKT Surf and Turf Filet Knife. Uh, a Honda Outboard Manual. Olight Flashlights. Uh, lures. Uh, jigs. A GoPro Hero 3 Plus, a Cold Steel AK-47, all this going all the way back to March of 2021 when I sold the first Daiwa Saltist. I gave you guys all the heads up in the world when I have deals. And I mean, I'm usually offering deals because I want it gone, okay? Because I'm already purchasing something else. And I used to use, I used to post it on my community page. But I quickly found out, you know, on the community page, it's like a forum. You put something on there, and then every ass wipe in the world can get on there and give you grief. So I'm not even doing anything on the community page anymore. Um, that's where you would see it when you're looking on YouTube on your phone or whatever. But I got so much grief. They said, oh, you know, this community section of YouTube isn't supposed to be for your garage sale. Well, it's my YouTube channel and I can do any damn thing I feel like it. But I got tired of the grief. But that's how much horse trading I've done in one year. That's all USPS receipts for sending out packages. That's a lot of horse trading. Between tackle and knives and things like that, I'm rocking and rolling. If I find something and it don't fit me, it's gone because I've already moved into something else. I, need, I got like a re revolving account just for playing, I guess you could call it. As a matter of fact, that right there in the box with the vintage leather sheath, the little tiny plastic sleeve that they put the knife in, the tissue paper that they wrapped everything in, how to care for your buck knife, your warranty card from buck, to protect your guarantee, read the following enclosed instructions before use. Last but not least, a word from the president of Buck Knives, Al Buck. This is a collector's item, and it's on my eBay right now. So, there you go. I would have I would have posted this on the community page if I was feeling any warm fuzzies. Since I wasn't feeling any warm fuzzies, I stopped doing it. The reason I'm selling it 
As I moved on, I purchased some other things instead. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put it right back the, the way it came in, like, 19, 1984, right in this sleeve. So, thanks for stopping by for this brief horse trader FYI. And I'll see you on the next one.